Hello beautiful and welcome to The Prosperous Womb. So today we're going to answer the question, why a baby's born when they are? This is The Prosperous Womb after all. And I got a question from an amazing woman on my email list, we'll call her Amy. And that question inspired why a baby's born when they are, okay? I asked this question to 11 women in the High Ticket Profit Explosion workshop. And they all gave me the most technical answers that I cannot repeat on video. So I decided to ask my super brilliant and wise 10-year-old daughter, Cece, why a baby's born when they are? And she said, Mom, if I had stayed in your belly, then I wouldn't be all that God created me to be. And I said to her, you are amazingly brilliant and you must have an awesome Sunday school teacher too. So, Amy is a certified holistic health coach and spiritual light healer. She works with people who have been diagnosed with chronic diseases and some cancer patients. And she sells her programs, she has 12, she has 12, I'm exhausted just saying that. She has 12 coaching programs and she sells them between the 497 to 997, okay? 12 coaching programs. She makes multiple six figures a year. Specifically, in 2021, she made $350,000. And in 2022, she made $393,721, $721, $393,721. Because you know, we all know nobody makes 350,000 to those zeros, right? So she gave me her exact amount because I wanted the exact amount. And here's the thing with her multiple six figure business. She has never even broken even. She still owes her staff, her team payment for 2022. She has not made enough money in her business to pay the expenses in her business. She has had to let her accountant go. And she is thinking of letting go of the rest of the team because she's not making enough money to support her life, her mortgage, her expenses, her health, or her business. But she's a multi six figure coach. Currently, she's put on 15 pounds in the last 18 months because she's stressed out and always snacking and eating junk food because her husband is stressing her out about money. They've put all of their money into her training and her, and her up-leveling, and she's not making money in her business. Even though she's making six figures and multiple six figures at $393,000, she still does not have enough money to pay bills. And he says, every single day, you need to go back and find a real job that pays you because how can you make six figures and be broke? Well. <laughs> That's easy. When you don't make profits, you stay broke. So her question to me is Mimi. I have this high ticket coaching offer that I've made, but I haven't sold it yet because I'm scared because the people in my community, my people, they used to pay me $497 and this is $25,000. I work with a coach to create it, but I am scared to come out of the closet with it. What should I do? I've had it since the pandemic. So that is about two, three years, the pandemic started when? Two years ago, she made it at the beginning of the pandemic to shut her husband up because she was like, look, I'm making something here, so leave me alone. And he said, okay, good. And she created the offer. That was like, it's been three years. It's a $25,000 high ticket coaching offer. So she has very specific questions. When shall I share my offer? When shall I sell it? Who shall I sell it to? Who are my ideal people for the offer? Where shall I make my offer? And how do I find clients for this offer? But my biggest problem, Mimi, is mindset. Obviously, I know how to make money. I've done it over and over again for seven and a half years. 
I know how to make multiple six figures, but I keep chasing 100K months because I think the next 100K month is going to save me. I keep chasing seven figures because I think when I have seven figures, all my problems are going to go away. My marriage is going to be better. I'm going to lose all the unwanted weight. That's what I keep doing. And I have a big money block around this because for me, just saying the word, the word high ticket or high end makes it feel like I'm stealing candy from a baby. What shall I do? But before I send this email, I know exactly what you're going to say when you read this. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to say, but I'm glad you do, Amy. You know, when my daughter told me that the baby is born when it's born because it has to come out. If not, it can't be anything. It can't be what it was created to be. It gave me the idea for this video because I, I still don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what's going to come through here. But the thing is, Amy is not the first multi six figure, seven figure, even eight figure coach that can't pay their bills or does not break even or has no profits or zero net worth. A lot of coaches do for all the reasons that I talk about in all of these videos, for all the reasons I talk about on my blog and on my email list. So if you're not on my email list, get on the email list so you can get that information. Because without profits, you don't really have a going concern business. Without profits, you can pay the bills daily. But profits create the leverage to invest in the business, invest in the team, to up-level your, your own coaching, your own training with high-ticket coaches and with high-value work, to up-level the work that you do, to take a year off and travel with your family, to write your book, to do whatever you want to do. Profits are what create the legacy. Income doesn't do any of that, okay? You can have a lot of income for a period of time and it can support you to support you to buy a lot of expensive stuff, but it's not profits and it does not create real and true financial freedom or wealth. It doesn't give you joy or allow you to enjoy the joy that God has already given you and the abundance God has already given you. So what does Amy need to do? I can't tell Amy what to do. One, I'm not her coach. And even if I was, I wouldn't tell her what to do. But I can ask you, I've already talked to Amy, by the way. So I can ask some questions that will support Amy and anyone else who is finding it challenging to, to take that multi six figure business and make it into a profitable going concern to make that happen for them. But first, if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Mimi Dabo. I'm a high ticket business coach and I support spiritual women coaches and Christian women coaches to co-create a profitable and simple high value, high ticket coaching boutique so they can serve at their highest level and create for them for themselves profits and real financial freedom, good health and wealth. Okay. That way they're not chasing hundred K months and seven figures. And I'm also the creator of supernatural where I support women to do this work and to support the whole woman. I'm also the creator of the high ticket profit explosion offers. So back to Amy. Let's look at the high ticket coaching offers as your baby. And we know that the baby comes out because the place, the tummy is too small to hold everything that it needs to be. So you said to me that you feel like you're falling apart that life is too hard, that your entire, all your body hurts, your marriage hurts, and your relationship with your teenage children is drained because of your business. You don't have time for your family. You feel like you don't have time for God. You, you're losing your mind and your waistline is expanding. Your words. So basically, Amy, you're in labor with your coaching offer, right? And your email to me, you think of it as the permission slip, but that was your water breaking. So your water is breaking, you're in full labor, everything hurts, your marriage hurts, your children, everything hurts, your body, just your life hurts right now. Push the baby out gently. So let's midwife the baby out and give birth to it. What do we do when we have the baby? What is this baby, this high ticket coaching offer in service of? We know it can't stay on the shelf any longer because the shelf is too small for it. We know it can't stay hidden anymore because your marriage will contract 
without it. Your health will go to crap without it. You can't get any sicker. Your marriage can't get any worse. Your relationship with your kids can't be any more broken. So what, where do we go from here? What is the high ticket coaching offer in service of? And remember, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Is it in service of just making more money? I have never met a spiritual woman coach or Christian woman coach whose high ticket coaching offer or body of work was in service of cash. I've never met anyone whose work was in service of making profits. It's always a mission that is more profound, way bigger than any money block or lack of business strategy that they have. So what is your high ticket coaching offer in service of? Because the bigger the mission, the more profound the mission, the more profound your why, the smaller the money block gets, the smaller that desire to hide is because you've got to do the thing. It's a got to have now mission. And that is what you need to consider. And I invite you to look at your entire business. The high ticket coaching offer is not an island floating in the ocean. It is part, it's, it is the business. So you need to look at your life, your relationship, the business, your business objectives and goals and your life plan and see what is the and, and the commitment to your service, your identity and your assignment and identify what is this offer in service of? Why do I want it out there in the first place? What does it mean for me in my business and the life that I want to create for myself? What does this mean for my clients? And then let's look at the money blocks that you talk about. And I agree with you. It might be a money block situation. It could be more, but it could be that too. Because you already have the systems in place. You have structures in place. You have your strategies. You know how to sell. You know how to market. You've already found lots of clients. You're making almost $400,000 a year. So you know, you, have the, you know the stuff. You have your blueprints and your prosperous home is wide open. So what are you afraid of? What are you afraid people are going to say about you? What are you afraid they're going to do to you? What are you afraid you're going to make that mean about you? Because what people say and do is irrelevant. It's what you make it mean about you and your business that matters. So what is the fact that people are going to talk because they have the right to and bitter Betty and negative Nancy and shitty Sherry are all going to talk about you on social media and your family's going to gossip about you and say, who the hell does she think she is selling stuff for $25,000? Who does she think she is? Tony Robbins? What, is, what are you going to make that mean about you and why? And why does that matter? And once you've identified the, the most relevant answers to those questions what do you want to do what do you choose to do it's on you what are you going to do and then i want you to imagine your patients sorry your clients your clients i want you to think about your clients for a minute and, and close your eyes I invite you to close your eyes or not and go here with me if it feels safe enough to go here with me. Your high ticket coaching offer is on the shelf. It's in your belly. Your belly, it's outgrown your stomach and it's time to come out. Who God has called you to be is starting to outgrow the, the hole you've put yourself in. For you personally to be everything that soul is doing through you, you need to allow all of it in, which means you need to offer this. It's 4 a.m. Your client is in a lot of pain. Maybe she's done chemo work and maybe she's thinking, I want to go the holistic route. And she gets up and she Googles her symptoms looking for the medicine. And you're sleeping peacefully, or maybe not, and you have the medicine in your belly because you're scared of what Bitter Betty, Shitty Sherry, and Negative Nancy are going to say about you on social media. And your client is dying physically 
literally, metaphorically, she's dying. But hey, you don't want people to say anything bad about you because you're selling high ticket because money is bad and all of that stuff. So you're not going to give it to her, but it's for her. And she literally is your assignment. So what you're doing is not owning your identity or remembering who you are. And you're not stepping into your assignment. This is the secret about high ticket coaching offers that people don't really understand. Your high ticket coaching offer is not an offer until you offer it to someone. Until then, it's a figment of your very overactive imagination. That's all it is. And then it does not, your high ticket coaching offer is not a solution or resort to somebody's challenge until that person gets it from you. Then it becomes a solution to their challenge. Until then, it's just an embryo in your belly. It is in your belly. The child wants to come out. You've crossed your legs and you're like, no, nope, you're not coming out. And soul says, I'll be born even if you're in a coma. Babies are born even if the mom is in a coma because that baby has to come out because it cannot stay in the belly anymore. It was not created to be in the belly. It's going to come out into the environment where it's going to grow and thrive. Your high ticket coaching offering is to come into the environment where it will grow and thrive. Now, how do you do that? You're claiming that you have money mindset issues and you don't know who to sell it to. The first thing is, again, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I invite you to look at your current offers. Don't throw all the offers out because you have this high ticket coaching offer. I know working with women for the last seven and a half years that there's this fear, this concern that if I've been making $600,000 or $300,000, what is the guarantee that this one offer is going to sell and create that income or more for me plus profits? Because I'm used to having these 12 or 13 offers create that much money for me. How do I know that this one will actually sell and make money for me, especially now that I actually need the money? I get that. So I invite you to look at your offers with your coach, work with your coach, and look at your offers to see which one is the most high value, high ticket out of all 13, and take those two and make it part of your high ticket offer suite or up-level them into your offer suite. That way, it can, those two can be your down sales, but your focus is going to exclusively be on that high, that signature high ticket coaching offer. And all lead magnets that you create in your offer, in your business, every road in your offer leads to the signature high ticket coaching offer. You see, people who are used to selling lots of courses or programs do random acts of marketing. And when you're selling a high ticket coaching offer, you cannot do random acts of marketing. You have to integrate your marketing to focus exclusively so that all roads lead to high ticket coaching offer. Okay. Once you do that, or even before you do that, let's talk messaging. You have your offer. I don't know the name of your offer, your package. I know it's $25,000. I'm assuming that it's priced, you know, in its package in a way that people know, oh, it's for me, right? And you've worked with enough people where you know the words they use. So because you are used to selling offers for $497, I need you to rehaul your messaging. And when you're tempted to speak to your current people, like literally punch yourself in the face lovingly. Because here's what happens. I'm inviting you now to create, to dial in your messaging, to speak only to the people that go to buy the $25,000 offer. But because you've had 11 or 12 years or between seven and 11 years of selling to people who want to buy four ninety seven, dollars and I know that 20% of those people are going to be excited to pay $25,000, by the way, because 20% 20, 20 of your audience wants high ticket. You are going to, you've been programmed now to speak to them. And even while you're up-leveling your, your messaging, you're still going to have that tendency to want to fall back into that language because it's comfortable. But with the support of your coach, you can push out of that and up-level your, your messaging. Speak only, only exclusively to the new people you want to attract. 
and you're going to feel guilty and all kinds of emotions are going to come up because you think you're leaving people behind you're such a fraud but remember you have those two other offers baby steps here be compassionate with yourself and run the race at your own pace give yourself the grace that god has already given you for that peace dial in your this the messaging is important i know people want to go straight to marketing and sell messaging first dial it in like put a bow around it work with your coach to really make sure that is taken care of once you've dialed in your messaging that's part of the position of the price and the packaging and the message are part of the positioning for that okay i'm not going to worry about your branding right now let's sell some offers and then you can worry about all of that so Focus on high ticket, high value people who are not going to ask you to explain anything and then market it. One of the things you said was, where can I find them? I know when we had the conversation, you said that you love going to events, to um, networking events and things like that. Well, market your offers where the people who want them are if the people who want your offers are the networking events then go to networking events if they're on social media go to social media go where they are you're already on social media anyway go where the people are and market in two or three places okay let me lean forward in two or three places not more than that focus exclusively and go deep down so you can expand your reach okay that will be most ideal for you right now your messaging is going to attract your people and let's talk energy it doesn't matter what you're saying what's coming out of your mouth it doesn't matter what's on your sales page if the energy behind it is wimpy so when you're selling $497 offers, you don't really have to make a promise about your offer. With a high ticket coaching offer, there comes a promise because they're not paying for to be in your vibe. They're not paying because you're cute. They're not paying because your husband's yelling at you and needs the money. They're paying because they want to get results. So you need to talk about the results they get from your $25,000 offer. You need to guarantee your promise to them. I'm not saying guarantee the results because you don't know what they're going to do, but I can tell you that high ticket coaching clients don't come because of a guarantee. They come because they have chosen to up level at that level. I offer guarantees with my work. Okay. A lot of people don't do that. So you can choose to guarantee because I'm an attorney. So the way my contracts are written or you will do the work, believe me. So you figure out what works best for you and you decide to go hard on your promise. No softy, wimpy stuff because you're a coach and you don't tell people what to do. I don't tell anybody what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. Guarantee the thing that you are going to promise for. You're going to show up and do X. And if they show up and do their part, they will get the results. But don't shy away from talking about the results and your promise because you're scared that what if they don't get results? That's the that's what 99% of the people, this is what's going to put you 99% ahead of every other coach who's out there selling high ticket, who's scared to talk about the promise because they think, I can't guarantee results. What's wrong with you? Don't be wimpy about this, okay? And let your coach support your mindset. You already know how to sell, I'm sure. But if you don't know how to sell, watch my high ticket sales videos, work with your coach, master how to have a conversation. When your, your messaging is dialed in and your marketing is focused and not random, your offer sells itself. The reason why a lot of high ticket coaches don't need to overcome sales objections is because the packaging, the pricing and the messaging sell the high ticket coaching offers to soul aligned dream high ticket coaching clients you don't need to explain anything they don't want they don't have any questions other than result 
ROI and solution-oriented questions. So focus on that. Your mission, big mission, profound mission. Because I know it's not about money. So what is it your, so your offering service of? Is it profit? Is it creating a legacy? Is it wealth? Is it doing what you call to do in the world? And you make, you, no matter what it is, money is going to come out of it. You're going to make profits from your high ticket coaching offer, no matter what your mission is. So create the mission that's bigger than money, because I know that if money was the motivating factor, you have money already. If, if it was the money that was motivating you, if the idea that you could make a million dollars a month was motivating you, you'd have done it already, but it's not a motivating factor for you. I've never found money to be a motivating factor for any of the clients I've worked with. So find the thing that motivates you and pushes you to do the, the mission, to step fully into your assignment, because that will support your messaging to connect to the heartbeat of your client. And from that place, you focus on your marketing, you identify who your people are and why they want it, which I'm assuming you did already when you were doing the pricing and packaging, because sales and marketing doesn't happen at the sales and marketing stage, it happens when you're niching down, okay? So that's, those are all the invitations that I have for you. And you will notice that once you settle into focusing on your high ticket packages, you're going to add years back to your life because you get an extra 20 hours a week back. You're not doing all of the things, selling all of the things. You're selling one thing for $25,000. Your colleagues have to sell 30 things all day on social media to do one thing that you do in one day. They have to do six months of that. It takes years of your life. It gives you premature aging. It gives you constipation. It gives you, it gives you stuff, okay? So you're going to add years back to your life. Those 15 pounds that you say you've put on because of this are going to fall off, okay? Your marriage, it's up to you, but if you choose to, will be better because if this is the only problem in your marriage, consider it solved. And then you have time to take that six month sabbatical you say you want to take with your kids and travel without working because you have profits that support you to hire a team and put all the automation in place that you need. But automation needs to come before the profits anyway. But it gives you the, the, the money that you need to hire the team and put that in place and invest in all the trainings and, and certifications and up-leveling that you need as a high-ticket coach because a high-ticket, high-value coach, it doesn't stop at working. You also need to invest in a high-value coach. It doesn't have to be a high-ticket coach, but it needs to be a high-value coach so that you can work at your highest level and serve at your highest level. That way you can pay all the back bills. I know what it's like to make multiple six figures and owe money. I've had to borrow money to pay my mortgage because I didn't have profits in my business. That is why I'm so passionate about this. There are too many women in this position who are making multiple six figures, some seven figures a month. I get to see behind the scenes as an accountant and I get to see in front of the scenes as a coach. It's not cool. It's killing women. It's affecting their health. Get your health back, get your life back, get your marriage back and get your relationship with your children back. Nothing is worth your joy and your peace. Anything that robs you of your peace and your joy is way too expensive. And this costs too much. So take care of this. And let me know how this works out for you. So when you put your offer out tonight, whether it's on LinkedIn or social media, wherever you put it out, take a screenshot and send to me so that I know it is done. And remember, consider the clients already here. Consider your marriage already healed. Consider your relationship with the kids healed. Consider everything done. If this is the only problem you're having in your life. Your life is perfect because this is the easiest part of it all. Doing a high ticket profit coaching business that gives you high ticket profit explosion. I, I applaud you for reaching out to ask about profits because a lot of people don't. They focus on chasing the 100K months and clients and sales. And the fact that we are becoming aware of this epidemic, pandemic, whatever it is in the coaching industry, makes my heart sing. So be open to all that is and 
let the abundance flow. It's been good having you.